Hey everybody, this is going to be another Monday Movie Review. This one I'm recording, uh, I'm, I'm recording it before I try and go to sleep, or get some food then go to sleep. The movie in question for this episode is The Crow Salvation, which is the second sequel to the original Crow movie. And it's a fucking train wreck. Just watching it was like, I, I just want to be watching the original Crow. I just want to be watching the original fucking Crow. This is fucking awful. Like, the fucking, there's like all this amnesia. In, in this fucking city where the movie takes place, like, due to the, the, the fucking person who becomes a crow literally got executed and within, like, a day or two became the crow. And, like, his face, like, God, the fucking... Ugh... Like, the, the crow makeup is his face being scorched by a mask that they put on him before they electrocuted him. And it looks like shit. And, like, his his face is all fucked up and, like, peels it off. And it's his normal fucking face. But with, like, the scorch marks or whatever. And, like, again, nobody seems to, like... His face isn't that changed. This must be working on the fucking Clark Kent Superman fucking logic where, like, people just... It's slightly different, so... His face is slightly different, so... Like, they're just... Face blindness. It's supposed to... Like, again, like, I was literally watching this. I'm like, this was done better in the original. This was done better in the original. This, this fucking... There's a fucking... I swear... Like, this movie is, like... There's things that were in the original... That are kind of in this, but they're done more off... Like, they're done shittier. Like... <clears throat> in... In the original, there's, like, the kid... That... Eric and, um... His girlfriend fucking uh, take care of because her mom is a fucking shitty person, a shitty parent, kind of like you know, whole spiral of her own. And like that, that character is replaced by the like a sister of the victim. I fucking like. And, like, don't, Sarah, is, I think, yeah, uh, is the name of the kid, and Shelley Webster is the, uh, is the girlfriend slash wife of Eric Javen. Um, and, like, they're, they're good people, like, they're, like, this movie has fucking, you know, Cross Salvation, has fucking, has, has, a, like, Kirsten fucking Dunst in it. Like, it's got Walter Goggins, you know, it's got, like, all these decent fucking people in it, and it's, it's just in service of fucking nothing. Like, apparently Salvation could have been directed by fucking Rob Zombie. And say what you want about Rob Zombie movies. Probably would have been better than the fucking shit we got in this movie. Like, there's a... <sighs> there's literally a scene that, again, is like... It's the same as the original, but slightly different of, like... Because in the original, 
there's a uh, Sarah's mom is like a druggie, and there's like a whole scene with her shitty boyfriend, and like, uh, like she's in the shower. And, uh, Eric grabs her by the arm, you know, and is like, you know, drugs are bad for you. And, like, squeezes, like, the heroin out of her fucking arm. And, like, similar scene in Salvation, where it's, like, an under, a, 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 like, an assumed underage girl who's working on, like, a, in, like, a strip club or some fucking thing that's also a campsite hosting place. And he's like, you know, how old are you? And then, like, they zoom in on fucking track marks. And it's just like... Like, I half expected... I half expected this fucking movie to be like, oh, you know, he's gonna say, like, you know, drugs are bad for you, you know? Or, you know, drugs are bad for you, or whatever. But then, like... It's fucking... The, the crow in this is just, like, a fucking unfeeling killing machine. Like, the original, there's all the, you know, quipping and stuff. None of that shit. None of that in this fucking movie. It's just, like... It's just brutal for no fucking... It's, like, brutal for no reason, gore for no reason... They even do, like, Shelly, like, it's like the, the, the fucking dude even has, like, the fucking, like, the trauma dump powers, <laughs> where, like, he touches someone, they, you know, he basically gets, like, a snapshot of their fucking life drilled into his brain. But in this movie, he could use it offensively <clears throat> for whatever fucking reason. And like, there's <sighs> fuck it. Like, it's the same formula as the original, and like, there's a kill scene with a car. But it's nowhere near as cool as the original fucking scene with the car, where the guy gets melted the fu- the by- to the fucking seat of his car and plummets into the fucking because the whole car goes up and it's it, it's it's just fucking awful. It just it made me want to rewatch the original Crow movie. Fuck it, maybe we'll watch the show with Mark Dacascos. Anyway. Peace out, everybody. Have a wonderful fucking day. I'm going to go get food and lay down and probably sleep. Hopefully, I'll sleep. Ta-ta. Have a wonderful fucking day.